This is a video about true minimalist travel. I started writing a video on the topic, ultralight packing differences for men and women, but soon realised how my distinctions were solely based on gender roles. It would be incorrect to suggest all women want or need more than men, and that all men desire less. There are a few gender specific essentials, but the rest mostly comes down to individual demands. Travelling without a backpack can still be achievable for anyone even when you have more personal requirements. I needed to recognise these necessities. What are the key packing distinctions for women in comparison to the possessions I carry? This is Talizi. Through the course of her travels, she's lived outside of her country, Brazil, for a year and a half. Like most people, she has never travelled with just a bum bag. And so I was eager to discover how would she begin her adventures if leaving without luggage. If I had to travel with the pochette, for me, the essential items would be a few clothes and bathroom beds. The less you're concerned about wearing clothes, the easier traveling light becomes. If I traveled without luggage, I would take a thin sarong as it is an extremely practical multi-use item. It can be a skirt in the summer, a scarf in the winter, a headscarf in Islamic countries, a towel on the beach and a blanket on air-conditioned transport. I would need at least two pairs of underwear, one of which could be bikini bottoms. Because unlike you, women shouldn't just put wet underwear back on to dry. Even if you don't wear a bra, you will still need something for swimming, so I would use mine as a bikini. Some materials fit the beach environment much more than others. If you are wanting to travel with as little as possible, it will really help if you don't wear much makeup and don't have a rigid grooming routine. I'm somewhere in the middle, so I would want space for a few cosmetic and bathroom products. Instead of limiting makeup to its original purpose, I would apply the product to more than one area. For example, a lipstick as a blusher. I would look for small capacity, travel-sized options and transfer the rest to mini containers. When something runs out, I will replace it with the smallest version I can find. If only something bulky is available, I'd go without until I'm staying somewhere for longer and we make sure to use it up before making my next journey. These would be my necessary differences as a woman. Everything else could be the same as the few items you carry. I could travel with this drastically reduced amount but still have everything I need. I could fit these important extra items inside a compact bag. I could if I chose to travel without luggage. I still might need a little more convincing.
A choice to live simply. By Lost Free.